This is Kenny here from Mekai Hatana, a page where I share with you about property financing tips, property investing, and also property education matters. So today, I would like to share with you about one of the most important ratios to consider and know before you apply for a property loan. I'm talking about none other than DSR, which stands for Debt Service Ratio. It's a formula which consists of, which is total debt is seen in secrets, divided by total income times 100. The formula, I repeat again, is total debt divided by total income, total net income times 100%. That's how we count a DSR. So what does DSR tell a bank? Example, your money commitment as seen in secrets is 2,000 ringgit. 2,000 ringgit and your net income from your salary is 5,000 ringgit. So 2,000 ringgit, according to the formula, 2,000 ringgit divided by 5,000 times 100% will yield a 40%. What this means is 40% of your net income is used to pay your money commitments. That is what does the ratio tell the bank. So, to the bank, they have their own guidelines on how much is the tolerance. It depends on your income level. But in general, in general, if your net income is higher, most banks usually give a very high debt service ratio. They means they allow you to borrow more. Okay. In in general, it's best to keep your debt service ratio at 70% and below for most banks. So how now how do you improve this debt service ratio and increase your chances to get a bank loan? First well first of all, back to the formula the form there's only two factors and two ways to improve your debt service ratio which is number one you can reduce your debt. Reduce your debt via settling off some loans doing debt consolidation, refinance, even refinancing or selling some of your properties or liabilities. Whatever it is, as long as you reduce your debt, your debt service ratio will improve. Next is of course to increase income. Increase income here means you can actually have a rental property, okay, stocks or maybe a part-time business. Some banks do take into account or if you are an employee, Maybe you have a bonus. Some banks do take into account your bonus as in income calculation. Okay? All in all, debt service ratio tells the bank how much of is your net income used to pay your current commitments and whether you can actually afford a new commitment under your name. So before you actually apply for a loan, it's best you do your own calculation of debt service ratio as I've shared in the earlier formula earlier formula in the in the earlier parts of the video. So once again this is Kenny here from Hikari Hadana and I wish you all the best in your property investing journey. So take care and I look forward to see you again. Bye bye.